Welcome to Micromerdix Technology Previews. This is a preview of the DFT report using the isotherm from MCM41. We're going to switch from isotherm view to DFT pore size view. Notice immediately in the lower right hand corner we have a calculation dynamically re-estimating models for different amounts of regularization. In the upper portion we see the cumulative pore volume in red and the pore size distribution in green. On the right side we have all the controls. So we know MCM41 is a cylinder so we're going to shift to cylindrical pore models. It selects the first one available which was the cylindrical pores for an oxide surface and notice the recalculation in the lower right hand corner. In green we see the roughness of the curve. The roughness of the curve is shown by the jaggedness of the distribution above in the pore volume and pore width display. In red, we see the residual error from the DFT calculation. I can grab the blue slider bar and now I can go to different values of regularization. So as I go to higher levels of regularization, notice the error doesn't increase, neither does the, regular, neither does the roughness, until I get to a point where I see descending roughness and now notice a much smoother looking pore size distribution. We can even go a little bit further to decrease roughness and we can almost go to the intercept where the two curves meet. Notice a nice smooth pore size distribution for MCM41 at 4 nanometers right in the ex expected range. This has been a preview of the new DFT report with advanced features of goodness of fit and regularization to easily allow users to get the best result for their DFT modeling.